Uh, let's get back to the broader market. Let's get back to Bullard for a second okay. because, again, there was a great deal of focus on Steve Leisman's uh, interview Excellent. because you've got so many people who typically are trying to pick stocks just focused on Fed policy. Take a listen to what Bullard had to say in particular, of course, about his interpretation of the inflation data. We got the uh, hot CPI report uh, last Thursday, I guess, and I think... Um, you know, my interpretation was uh, not so much that report alone, but the last four reports taken in tandem have indicated that inflation is broadening and possibly accelerating in the U.S. economy. So I shaded up my position, uh, and I'm just one person on the committee, but I, I shaded up my position to say I'd like to see 100 basis points worth of uh, movement on the policy rate by July 1. 100 basis points on uh, July I, 1. Look, you got to see this. The CPI was out of control. It was. I mean, there's no longer any safe haven within the, any part of this country, whether it's poultry, whether it's corn, whether it's cars. How about the car companies telling the dealers not to charge too much? David, there isn't anything. So, I mean, I have to like board. Uh, just like them very much. Had a little to do there one, one time with China. Yes, there was a period of time but where we, you were sort of at odds with him, uh, a bit, if I remember. We, we have... It's all behind yeah. you. And I will tell you, I think he represents as close to PAL as you're going to get. So look out, 100 basis points. Is that so bad by... I, I don't know. I was looking at margin rates. That easy money where you could buy a house against securities, that thing's going away. Mm -hmm. It's just going away. And by the way, in terms of going away, David... I had Gary Gensel on recently. Yes. And I know we're going to cover crypto. Yes. But I was saying to him how much I love block fee because I'm getting 8% on my cash balance. And he laughed. He said, I don't know, Jim. Well, here, crypto lender block fee to pay $100 million in settlement with SEC states. This is, well, I mean, this just happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm still going to get my 8 and a half, 9. I may be getting something like one and a half two. Well, you've been getting it for a while, though. Eight and a half nine, no, it's been unbelievable. It's like the better than the stock market historically. And Gary Gensler, who is so terrific, I think, is the, the chairman, he was telling me to be skeptical of getting eight and a half nine because they're lending out well, your security. Questions about that? For yeah, and like, you know what, David? This this thing well, this what thing should have crashed. Have to do with a hundred basis points from the Fed? Well, because by July, because you're more right now. If you want to borrow against stocks, uh, that's how you, you can. Get a very inexpensive loan. You can get two percent. That's the one that's going to go away. I think they can raise. The, they raise the short rates. Mm -hmm. That goes to three, four. Next thing you know, that whole deal for rich people is gone. All right. To the extent, though, that the market has already priced in an expectation of significant move up in rates over a relatively short period of time, is that reflected now in the decrease in the multiple for for many of these tech names that we talk about so often? Is there an opportunity uh, here if if you are brave? Uh, fortune favors the brave. <laughs> I thought uh, it was the bull. <laughs> Never. Still, By the way, I looked I up. It's either one. Thank uh, God that was not a Super Bowl. Actually, no, I no. Uh, okay, that. I would say that, again, there's always this group of people who seem to be oblivious. And when a bullard comes on after bullard talking about this, they're shocked, okay? So I think that short term, there'll be a dip that you can... No, I'm not going to change that. For the club today, we had been selling like mad last week. I'm like... In, Delray, and my wife says, could you, like, go outside, please? And I said, no, absolutely not. What, to tweet? No. Uh, except for a freight train I tweeted was going right at me. David? Yes. Jim. We're looking to buy today after just selling and selling and selling and selling. You are. He even sold Broadcom, which has been ever since Hock Tan was, you know, spoke to. Remember Hock Tan when he came here? I do. Sat right here. He, he's generated a great return. We had a double in that. I said, no. Time to take things off the table, to be ready for when people say, I can't take it anymore because that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a collapse of confidence in so many different people, CEOs, in, in Jerome Powell. I've got people who have been with me, Project, the whole way. I, I, only, I have no friends who are Project right now. They haven't even started raising rates yet. What's I'm the just, problem? I'm giving you the skinny of how people feel. Yeah, how they feel. Keep rates at zero so I can Keep make rates as much zero. money right. as I the possibly stocks. can. Right. And it's like when Jeremy Siegel comes up. I mean, you know, you, you need to have rates not go up. Well, I got bad. In, or else it's going to be bad. And yeah. I think well, he's, seven and a half he's just don't fight not them great today. either. No. And by the way, I mean, Bullard's not alone. When you talk to CEOs, and I know you do, 
Uh, last week before I left, I had a conversation with somebody who runs a, a broad portfolio of businesses, a lot of them. I mean, forget temporary, forget any idea that it's transitory right. in any nature. I know you and I a year and a half ago yeah. had this debate. It's not. No, and I was, and I was in transitory. Soon. I want uh -oh, everyone to go. What, what, you what? must go and listen to or read the Coca-Cola quarterly conference call. Okay. Because they call it temporal. They call it inflation temporal. But then they say it, it involves, only involves cans, bottles, at home, on press. <laughs> It's like anything you can do. Anything. I love the fact that you pulled out that from your pocket. Anything else in there you want to share with me? Yeah, you? Pepsi felt much better about oh, yeah. things.